Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tambi here with you guys. So it's a very special vlog today because I'm spending the weekend with my friend Danielle and Lori. But today, you know, throughout the vlog, I'm gonna show you guys what I, we're doing. But also, I'm gonna be commentating on what good friendship is all about and the importance of friendship. I think we're all created to be part of a community. That's how we are designed. Like, for example, during COVID time, there's so many people who went through a lot of mental illness because they were so isolated. So let's talk about good friendship, what to avoid, what to look for you know and all those little pretty good things so come along and yeah i will take you through the day okay so this is my dear friend laurie's beautiful house i want to start out with a verse from the bible that's first corinthians fifteen thirty three, that says do not be misled bad company corrupts good character come back to your senses as you ought and stop sinning so this is Danielle and Lori. They are my very close friends. Over the past year and a half, we've actually developed a really strong friendship. Very grateful for them. So we spent a bit of time outside in the sun and actually we you can see the orange tree behind us. We gathered up some orange and we came into the kitchen and we actually made some orange juice. Um, Lori, Lori's, they, their place, they've got the best sweetest orange oranges so yeah this is us um and i also forgot to turn on my audio so this is no audio but you can hear my beautiful voice on the over voice so yeah this is delicious juice and this is their beautiful cat penelope she's adorable and this is me getting ready with the orange juice because i wanted to interview Lori and Danielle just wanted to ask them about friendship what they thought about friendship what's the importance and what to avoid so yeah just pouring the drinks for us and then we set up the table there but you can see the dog over here that's Lori's dog um just really beautiful German Shepherd and Husky mix he really wanted to be part of us, so he kept barking. So um, they tried, Laurie and Daniel tried to go and calm him down, but he didn't calm down. So um, we tried and we actually changed the position. So we ended up going to the another side of the ground to find a place where you could hear us without the dog bark, the dog barking behind us. After we got rid of the dog, we had Penelope jump on to be part of our conversation. You can see Lorca just picked her and popped her down. So that was actually so cute. Okay, let's start a conversation. Cheers. 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 Okay, guys, I have two very quick questions to ask on friendship. The first question is, what would your life be like without good friendship? Who wants to go first? Okay, first of all, I wouldn't be alive. No, just kidding. <laughs> Sounds a bit dramatic. Uh, I would say for me, a very big loss of support mm. and advice. Like for you two, I often come to Lorca and Tambi and I'm like, guys, this is what's going on. And they're like, okay, Danielle, this is what you know you need to do. And solid good advice. I would really miss that if I was not with these two yeah thank you anytime <laughs> if you want any wow. advice wow <laughs> what about you Lori? um i think because i came from belgium so yeah i didn't know anyone here so it was it would be very sad yeah it was very sad and very boring yeah and also very lonely because i didn't know anyone yeah i didn't have anyone to talk to yeah um and i think it also really affected my mental health mm. so yeah, it's really good to have friends to talk to. Yeah, I agree. Similar as her as well, came from India in the first few years. Um, had some, you know, there were some good friends as well, but um, it's different when you meet a kindred spirit. Okay, and I'm going to bring up the <laughs> Boston <laughs> spirit from any green game. <laughs> and so I didn't know that you had to pray for good friends. Mm. So there were a lot of friends in my life that didn't do me good. They actually led me to a bad 
different path you know just horrible path so what would my life look like with good friends i would say at this stage in my life with laurie and danielle i have a great support um oh my gosh like if i want to do something i can do anything with this too they're super honest with me um even though i may not like some advices they give me that's good for, for me you know they rather bruise me in the front than um kiss me at the back and <laughs> stab me at the back wow. no no, no. they rather they rather bruise me in the front which is good for me than then uh kiss me in the front and um stab, you on stab me on the back does yes. it make sense yeah. i don't know okay <laughs> let's <laughs> move on to the next question okay the next question is what is one quality that you see in a person that puts you off being their friend um <laughs> i think when you're hanging out and it's always about them yeah. it's n it's always about their life their problems they can't talk they can't ask about you mm. i think that's not not a very good friend to have. Yeah. yeah for me it is like living for the next high yeah not able to settle not able to make a deep connection have deep meaningful conversations yeah. um that really puts me off yeah i like that as well i think for me is people who think they're better than me <laughs> um because it's like if someone thinks that they're better than you and you're trying to make friends with them they've already put up a freaking like pride mm. wall and there is no like whatever you do they're just like demeaning you they're looking down on you and so it's really hard to connect and and the bible says consider other people better than you you know like respect them think that they're better yeah. So, um, yeah, I can't make friends with people who think they're better than me. They could be better than me, but they can just humble themselves. And then I'll just give the respect that they <laughs> deserve, you know, rather than just like, I'm better than you. I was, you know, just, I don't know. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> okay, that's us. Um, so we're going to go to the bakery now. And we're gonna go get something substantial to eat because we've just been drinking juice this morning. <laughs> but very good juice. We are here at the bakery. It's called the Baker's Delight. That's the one. <laughs> are you guys gonna get like a this way? We've got a bakeries. We're just gonna go to the park and eat them. Ever since going to Belgium, he's obsessed with like bakeries. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Is this the berries roll? Yeah. And this is the cinnamon roll, cinnamon uh, custard roll, custard roll, custard roll. And that's Lori. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make shadows and this is the ham and cheese danish let's enjoy ladies let's do this come on <laughs> let's look at that it's so much berry inside yum yours is so nice this bread <laughs> <laughs> mm. it's good. And here is Danielle climbing the tree. She's just shedding off a few calories just after eating some dessert. Guys, so this is my beautiful sunset. No, my beautiful sunset. <laughs> Just outside the house, we decided to come to my house, Danielle and Lori, and we have an Italian music because we are going to make. What are we gonna make? We're making pasta. We're gonna make pasta, yeah. yummy. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. And here's my baby boo, all cute and ready. Oh my gosh, it's so yellow. I'll What's show you, other? um, the vi uh, the video. Mm. <sighs> Just keep doing that, Laurie. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> nice shot, Laurie. 
Nice. Look how beautiful that is. God's creation, eh? Nothing yeah. can beat God's creation. Yeah. You have to do like the this because you did that before. <laughs> can you hear the sound? No. No. She was trying to listen to people singing, but she can't hear it. <laughs> All right, guys. So we decided to dress up. <laughs> so um, I am the mommy at uh, the Adams family. The mother. Yeah. So that's me. Is it Morticia? Morticia, yeah. So that's me. I'm dressing up like Morticia. And we've got, this is Lori. She's a Italian, young, beautiful girl. Can you come say hi? Hi! <laughs> and this is a beautiful Indian Bollywood, actually using a real, how do you call that? A roller. Laura yeah, a roller pin. And this is, what we're trying to make pasta right here. Yeah. Yum! Yay. Let's go! <laughs> So that's taking the pizza roll. It's looking good. I forgot to show you guys when we're eating because we're so hungry. <laughs> but this is what the pasta looked like. We had pesto and onion. It was so yummy. But I've eaten it, so. <laughs> <laughs> guys, so this is how we are in the room, finishing up the night. It looks so cozy. I'm in the bed as well. Baby's doing good. Good night, guys. Good night. <laughs> Hi, guys. So this is our final activity for today. Um, this is the next day, actually. Yesterday, we napped and everything. So um, we're going to do a candle painting. It's really cool because Danielle over here, she actually made this candle from scratch. This is a wax candle. So she coated the rope with uh, wax. She spent a lot of time, so it's so beautiful. And then we're gonna use her acrylics, acrylics <laughs> paint uh, to paint on it. And then Lori has some very cool, um, what do they do? Inspiration. <laughs> Inspiration. Um, we're gonna show you guys. I hope you can see it. I'm just gonna get, bring it closer. Anyways, that's the inspiration, some of it. So um, we'll do it and then at the end, we'll show you guys the end result. Do you guys have anything to say? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's just do it. Okay, let's do it. So concluding my thoughts on friendship, I believe who we choose to be friends with is so important. There are people that we choose to spend our time with, take advice from, share personal parts of our lives with, and these are the people that we allow to have influence over us. It's shaping who we are and how we spend our time. And you know, you might have heard someone say, oh, that person got with the wrong crowd. And that is exactly why we need to be wise in choosing our friends. We know that bad friends can lead us into situations we don't want to be a part of and can teach us bad ways, bad habits, and can corrupt good characters. No matter if you're from a good family, you hang out with bad friends and it will change you. So on, in concluding, I would encourage anyone who's watching to choose your friends wisely and meditate on those scriptures that I've posted. And I believe that your life will be so much better. And I believe that choosing wisdom is also listening to wisdom. And wisdom tells us to choose our friends wisely. So that's my encouragement for you guys that you may choose your friends wisely. Don't choose friends who are short-tempered. Don't choose friends who gossip about other people. Choose friends who wants the best for you, who will tell you stuff that you probably don't want to listen sometimes. Friends who are true will tell you the honest thing. When you ask them, 
about so anything they will give you the honest answer because they want the best for you so that's my advice guys and yeah um i hope you guys like my candle painting <laughs> guys this is the finished look oh my gosh look how beautiful that is oh that's beautiful wow 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 okay guys <laughs> <laughs> Did I just sound like a witch there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the candle, guys. Yeah. This is it, guys. This is what we made today. Beautiful candle. Uh. Is it rolling? Yep. <laughs> Speak. <laughs> Speak or else forever hold your peace. Alright guys, so this is what we made and I'm going to wrap this video up right here. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And make sure if you want to watch more of my videos, hit that notification bell just down there. And um, shout out to Danielle and Lori for... Um, this a beautiful... Oh, what about you? No! <laughs> <laughs> this is Lori. <laughs> For this beautiful weekend, we've had the best weekend. Um, so, love you all. Mwah. Bye, guys. Okay, one more thing, one more thing. Shout out to Baby Stowers. Baby Stowers! <laughs> <laughs>